Hi guys, Nemon here and welcome to this video and I'm joined here today with XCOM. Hi XCOM. Hi. Nemon told me to put a, put an item in my inventory. He said uh, yeah. he can't even see where, where my front end is or my back yeah. end when I'm standing like this. And Check I this have out, guys. bare hand. There is no front end to my skin. Yeah, I can <laughs> see that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we are here to show you guys a bunch of bug fixes, I guess. So today we want to first of all tackle a bunch of bugs related with ghost blocks. And everybody knows ghost blocks, they are freaking annoying and freaking annoying everybody. And you can have two types of ghost blocks essentially in the game. First type is ghost blocks that you can get from mining. If you are mining and your client and server get out of sync, it is possible that you generate one of these and that's the setup that we'll be doing right now. Maybe XCOM you can demonstrate. Yeah, no, you, do, you, do you want to do it? You can do it. Okay, let, so let me do it. So I'll pop myself into survival. We have here haste 2 and this block here in front of me and we can see I click on it. It's a ghost block. It doesn't exist anymore. So by me standing on top of this uh, block, uh, me as a client think that there's this block so I can fly. I can actually stand on it. And on the server side, server thinks that I'm actually floating in midair. So the feature of insta mining is that the fact that you can actually insta mine only when you're not flying. So I can mine these blocks and I am think I mined all of them, but do you, XCOM, do you see those blocks that I mined? Yeah, there's, you just removed two of them. Uh, two of I can them? Only see I, can two I can see about two. I removed 20, so if I jump onto them, we can see I'm getting stuck and that's because... Yeah, you look like, you actually look like you're standing a bunch of uh, blocks. And uh, no, but my point of view is actually very jittery. So if I uh. disconnect and connect it back again, yeah, it looks funky when you're actually... Yeah, you can mine. see that I'm actually still in the block. Yeah, so that's essentially what the mining ghost blocks are. They are much more prevalent if you are jumping around and uh, mining blocks, rather than just uh, walking around and mining them, but you can still get them in all those situations. Basically, our first bug fix is to actually remove these nasty mining ghost blocks. And we implemented it inside the carpet mod, so I can just do temporal mining ghost blocks and by default it's true because by default you want the ghost blocks to to be had yeah because that's how yeah, it's implemented not? in vanilla but if we type it false then can you recreate the this platform and i guess if i go here we can recreate yeah. it but uh yeah let me just try as well like you can see them popping back in that, the reason i'm actually getting the blocks to pop back in is because the server thinks i'm floating but yeah you it, can see it turns it turns into a glitch you can see xcom is in the midair there we go. The, the, if you're uh, mining like regular, you instant mine. But if you jump and you try to instant mine, it doesn't work. Yeah, they actually they actually popping back in. If you can see, it's it's actually really funny to see with this fix applied, because those blocks will actually pop up on the client side and will be instantly updated by the server, telling you that you actually I actually lost my pickaxe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You can see if we are, if I'm doing really quickly, those blocks actually pop back in, and that's essentially the nature of the fix. So what we did is essentially whenever you are mining a block, the server will actually update you about the status of this block. So if you abandon mining it because your client thinks you you mined it, it will actually send a message to the client saying, no, 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 this block is still there. Like most uh, bugs those kind of stupid bugs. Essentially tracking them down takes a little bit of time, but uh, as it turns out at the end, most of those bugs is essentially like a one statement or one piece of code needs to be changed, yeah? Exactly, yeah. So that's the first bug fix for you guys. If you have the setting and we also provide patch files for the client and server so you can apply it to your own 1.12, you can essentially keep mining and you shouldn't be able to see those ghost blocks again. There is just one more thing. This thing that we were looking at is a ghost block generator, something that Myron showed us way back, and this is just an iteration of that machine. And it reliably generates like a ghost block that you can stand on, and that causes desynchronization because what the ghost block is is actually a client side block. It doesn't exist because if you mine it, it disappears. If you right click it, it disappears as well. What happens is like on the client, you can stand on it and it appears that the character is actually mining instantly because you're standing on a block. But on a server, you're floating in midair because there is no block there. And that's where the ghost blocks generate, where the 
block you're standing on helps you mine that block instantly, but the server thinks that you need to mine for a longer period because you're standing in midair, and that's when you get ghost blocks. For the second bug that we have found a fix for as well uh, is the piston ghost blocks. They generate randomly uh, in your slime contraptions, in your slime engines. You might have seen them. Usually it happens because you're using observers and slime at the same time with sticky pistons. And the bug is actually really old. It's somewhere deep in the uh, piston code where it's just been laying dormant until those three features just combined and showed the bug is just surfaced. And that's where all these slime contraptions suddenly start generating ghost blocks. And fixing it was kind of complicated. It's a fix where you have to keep updating the client, telling the client that those ghost blocks, that if they generate, you should remove them. Why it happens is, you could say it's kind of related to lag. What the client does and what the server does is actually identical, but because the server never does the updates. Basically, the server updates the piston, tells it to extend and retract. But it, the retract part of the piston is actually a little bit delayed. And if that delay happens to be lagged, so then you get a duplication of those blocks, half of them being real because they're the packets that the server actually sent to the client. Yeah, I can see it. And oh, I guess it? it's, uh, yeah, I guess it also happens differently for different client because every client acts separately so I can now see lots of slime blocks around and it, you might be seeing those I can I might see different ones and vice versa so this is no I haven't gotten one yet it's because I've, of the I've seen a couple of them yeah oh really uh, yeah, I I've think you have better ping than I have that's probably why yeah possibly. Uh, we can actually go over here and there's mm -hmm. like a whole row of pistons that uh, fire that can easily like show the bug oh there we go I just found like two, three, four. <laughs> bunch I of haven't, them. yeah, and I haven't seen anything. That's that's actually typical. No, yeah, now I can see here. So, for example, yeah, we can see here. We can have, see uh, there. Yeah, I yeah, can see one ca here. I can see uh, here five of them here instead of three. And if I right click them, they disappear because they are yeah. ghost blocks. They don't exist. And by right clicking with the tool, we're actually updating that block client side. Yeah, and that's the unreliability of ghost blocks because you just saw. And Nimbone saw different ghost blocks than I did. Yeah. In the case of this machine over here, it's reliable. So both Nimbone and I will see the ghost blocks, and that's reliable. Exactly. And, uh, but in this case, where it just causes mess, uh, that's that's why we added a fix for it. That's what the second ghost block fixes. Uh, I think it's called. So I'll set up. So it's temporal piston ghost blocks, and and again, uh, if we don't want to have them, we just set them to false, and now we shouldn't be seeing any ghost blocks. You should see a bit more blinking piston. Yeah, because pistons are uh, blinking a little bit more. because now pistons have to send extra updates for those blocks that they retract and push, which is actually fair enough. That's essentially what you would want, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's an. Uh, it's a, there is a fix for it, client side, uh, just client side to minimize the packet uh, sense, but mm -hmm. I think it didn't work when I was trying it. It caused issues. I, gu I guess yeah. this feature is much better. Uh, yeah. fix, fixing it on a server is much better. You can mm -hmm. see it even here, even more, if you update even more pistons, absolutely no ghost blocks, and yep. that's what we want to see. Exactly, and uh, this is much more prevalent, for example, if you are running, for example, a quarry, I can put here a little bit of the footage I taken from the quarry in one of my Psycraft episodes, and uh, you can see that the number of ghost blocks is pretty much unbearable if you have a lot of them if you have lots of flying machines around. So this oh. fix actually fixes this issue and pretty you can well. See that you can also see that you can generate the ghost blocks still with the ghost block generators, even if you have that uh, set yeah. to true. Yeah, so it actually, uh, this fix actually fixes the inconsistency with ghost blocks, I would say. So that's actually pretty good, because inconsistency is bad, and this is actually intended. Yeah, yeah you can call it intended. <laughs> Yes, but what I was basically trying to say by intended is like when you click this button, you are expected to see that block here. Well, oh, yeah, with, uh, the slime ghost blocks, they either are here or not. It depends on your connection. It yeah. depends, on, depends the on the speed of the server or the speed of the client on the various things. So this is the results of the desynchronization at random times and we want to avoid it. 
So guys, the third bug we wanted to show you in the fix that XCOM did is with breeding of various animals, in this case donkeys and llamas. If you ever bred llamas and donkeys, you might have seen it. When you're trying to feed them hay bale or golden carrot, you, you're trying to breed them, but suddenly your camera just points in a different direction. That's really annoying if you're trying to breed multiple donkeys because it's just your camera keeps turning in different direction. And there is also another bug with llamas where you can actually overfeed them. With donkeys, if you give them a, a golden carrot, you can't give them another one because they've already been put into the so-called love mode. But with llamas, you can just keep feeding them. The way to fix was to just basically make it so that when you're holding a food and you're trying to feed an animal, you will never mount it. So that's a small feature change, but it's kind of more intuitive. That was the best way to fix it because what the bug is all about is just you're trying to feed the, uh, the donkey or the llama and you're instead trying to mount it. And yet again, it's all about uh, the client and the server disagreeing. The client thinks that you can always mount the animal and the server actually thinks that basically the server knows that you can breed them. So what happens is that you breed them on the server and the client you're trying to mount it, but you're suddenly looking in a different direction. And that direction is actually when you're, if you would have actually mounted the animal. And that's what the bug shows up. Guys, I, I think we forgot to say something. Yeah. We forgot to say that all the patches for all the bugs that we have described here are in the downer in the description. We'll also link to the bugs on the <laughs> on the Moyang Mojira, so you can actually upvote them if you want. There are solutions already posted by us. So that was it, guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to me and to XCOM. He has lots of cool egg farm thingy magic on his channel. And see you in the next one. Nembon, what is it we're looking at? At a camera. Camera? Imaginary camera. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>